A big night in our nation's capital as the Washington Castles of Milan World Team Tennis look to win their 34th consecutive match. It would be a record. First up, men's singles. Kevin Anderson, marquee player for the Castles, come out blazing. He was taking on Amir Weintraub, and he never looked back. Started out playing unbelievable. Weintraub came out really a little nervous. You could tell from the get-go. He settled in a little bit, but Kevin Anderson, once he gets that break of serve, good luck breaking him, especially in the format the way it is with Team Tennis. He used a beautiful lob there a la Leighton Hewitt with the top spin backhand, two-hander. And then he served it out on a three-all point, and really that was the catalyst to the run for the rest of the evening for the Castles. Good start for the D.C. side, up 5-2. Women's doubles next. Kravis and Morosi taking on Rodianova and Martina Hingis. Some entertaining tennis. But it was the Castles had the early advantage. Yeah, the Castles got off to a good start. Then it got really kind of sticky for them as it got to 3-all. And then Rodianova came through with some big returns. And Hingis showed her class as well throughout that whole match. This was a big point. This was to break serve to go up 4-3. And then Hingis served it out with one of her very typical flat serves out wide for an ace. And that was a 5-3 victory. And that again added to the total lead. Yeah, nice recovery from 3-1 down by the DC side. Mixed doubles next. First look at Eric Buderak. He was alongside Morosi. But Leander Page, he's a wonderful doubles player, teamed up alongside Martina Hingis. That's a pretty impressive pair. Yeah, especially with that top spin forehand lob that he produced. They didn't win that particular game. Buderak served out a good serve, but then on match point, you see this was to give them match point. Beautiful effort from Hingis at the net, opening up with the with the good volley, and then this particular point, watch, no panic from Hingis into the open court, and that was the set, and you really felt that that was the match after that. Yeah, it was 15-8, and then it was Martina Hingis in the singles. And taking on Jill Kravis. Jill Kravis didn't play a bad match, but Hingis just does what she does so well, methodically moved the ball around the court, forced Kravis to have to do just a little too much on the big points, and that's why she was the world number one for such a long time came out, she knew she had a big lead, so she was relaxed, but still you don't want to come out and lose it and even get the, the score to be close, and she closed out the match comfortably in the end. Yeah, she played like a Hall of Famer, which uh, she will be inducted into a little bit later this month. Very solid performance by Hingis, not only in the doubles, but here she is in the singles, making a wonderful contribution for the Castles. So it was all up to the men's doubles, Pays and Reynolds trying to just wrap things up, and Reynolds was so sharp against the Buderak and Weintraub. Yeah, those were two back-to-back -back backhand winner returns from Bobby Reynolds, and that really sealed the deal for the Castles. They got the break there, and then it was all steamroll. The train was on the tracks after that. And here it is, match point, record point, and a very excited and happy coach Murphy Jensen. Yeah, wonderful moment in world team tennis history, 34 in a row, surpassing any major sports team. Congrats to the Castles.